Hi guys, Squad here, and welcome to another Transport Fever 2 video. Hope you're enjoying the series. Please subscribe if you are, if you're new here. Uh, we will recap in a second what we've been doing, but the goal is to get to a billion dollars on hard mode with a whole bunch of mods that we're using to make life more difficult and or interesting. They're all listed in the video description in a Steam collection, along with the details of how to generate this map by yourself if you want to play through. Look at that, loads of passengers. We are on the new train that we dumped in, in the at the end of the last episode, this one here. And you can see the passenger numbers are starting to pick up already. Um, however, if we really want to get everybody to come to this train station, we kind of need to start getting rid of the bus service that's also operating uh, here. We want to punt more people onto the train, ideally. So what we're going to start doing is getting rid of these buses and putting more trains on. The actual train itself, financially, um, well, that one's making money, but there's probably nowhere near enough trains on this line. Remember, they can only carry about, what, 20 people? Um, there's not many people waiting down here yet, but that will change shortly. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just put a few more trains on this line, just to get it properly established. Uh, what I like to do is put one train on the line, just get the line going, and then scale up the numbers, because otherwise... The first year or something of a brand new line it will just lose money and if you put a load of vehicles on it you'll just lose even more money so what's the point you might as well just get one one vehicle to establish the line first uh, also i don't have them waiting with packs lines i don't tend to have them waiting around uh, as you can often do with freight services um, but what i'm going to do is just basically start getting rid of some of these vehicles now in fact we'll just get rid of all of them we'll uh, send them to the scrap heap uh, and then we'll come back to manage line and then from manage line we can do delete line and that's now gone so all these passengers here will now figure out a new way of getting up to Mablethorpe and hopefully what they'll do is cross the road and walk over to this train station and go ah well the buses has been cancelled but you know what we can get that wonderful shiny new green train so that appears to be what they're doing which is great. Um, the, the actual train itself, like I said, it only has 45 kilonewtons of, of traction. But because we've built the road quite quickly, if you watch the speed here, uh, because we... But how do you say quickly? Because we built the track flat when we designed it, we had virtually no inclination. We tunneled through. Uh, it does get up to speed fairly quickly. By the time it's got out of the first bend... It is more or less knocking on its limit of, I think, 125 Ks for this particular unit, which is pretty good. Uh, it means that it's spending a lot of time. There you go. Spending a lot of time at maximum speed, uh, which is would do wonders for the finances. So that's fine. We'll just let that run for a little bit. We'll come back later and see if we need to add more uh, trains onto that line. We probably will. They're taking 20 at a time, but we'll see how they get on. Now, one thing we didn't do in the last episode is we didn't connect the fuel to Mitchell Dean. We need to do that shortly. Uh, but one thing I want to do also is get food down to Lee. So to get food down to Lee, we're going to have to truck it for now. Um, the train isn't really an option at the moment. Uh, so what we'll do is we're going to remember we, we take the whiskey or the alcohol, I keep saying whiskey. We take the alcohol up to here and we bring the food back down. So food's getting dropped off right there and then it's getting trucked into Thatcham. So what I want to do is add another platform onto Thatcham here, uh, which will be another cargo waiting area. And this will be destined for uh, Lee instead. And the journey will take it, obviously, through this road here. And it will have to come around the town, hopefully. I'm interested to see how the AI will route this. I'm hoping it will route it that way, and not through town. Uh, but what I want to do, because I was having a look at the traffic here, and a lot of private traffic is actually punting its way into the middle of town. So what I might do is just quickly uh, drag a road. I just want to try and alleviate some of the traffic early off this road because you can see it's already backing up here at this junction, which is stopping us from getting our buses down there. So what I want to do is just do something like uh, we could come in that way. So if we create like a separate branch, like, branch of the road like this, I uh, don't mind sacrificing a few houses like that in the name of speed. But what I'm hoping they'll do is the AI will start sort of punting its way that in that way into town. Uh, and what I might do is just straighten this road off now. Yeah, it looks like a few cars are starting to go that way. So if I just pause that a second, we'll just delete this. Like that. And we'll make that a... Which 
we'll leave it as the six lane road and we'll come in maybe like there instead not, not a huge difference just a subtle change there we go um but it just helps to keep the speed of everything up and hopefully some of that traffic will go that way uh, and since there's a bus stop on here that's not bad for our bus routes either romsey has grown significantly like a lot of towns and if you actually look at the um the bus network that we originally built this green circuit here you can see there's a whole section of town that is just not being hit by the buses anymore and that's another thing that we need to address this game is all about constantly reassessing and refining um and it does get tricky i'm not gonna lie it does get tricky later there's a lot of things to keep your eye on um but you know we'll get there so thatcham we've got the food coming down to here and then the question is where do we drop it off so if we go to the truck unload stop um the trucks are going to come down here and if they took a left maybe there and dropped off that should hit that food area quite nicely so we'll drop there there we go and this is going to be uh leave food effectively so this is going to be a truck leave food trucks or we'll just call it leave food for now maybe if we color it dark orange maybe uh so we're going to go from here that platform there looks like it's got a nice free platform it's quite a drive but like i say you know we need to get something coming into lee uh to make it grow and at the end of the day we, we need to create more demand on this line so it is quite a long drive that ideally you'd do that with a train but it's better than nothing that's the way i look at it it's better than nothing so we'll get some vehicles um we'll get some of the quicker food trucks which are Fasty 12, Fasty 11. Okay, so the quickest one we have is 60Ks. We'll, we'll get a bunch of those things. Um, like 10 of them. And we'll make them a dark orange. And we'll put them on the line that is the Lee food. But what we'll also do before we do that is... At least at lower thatcham we'll say wait till full uh you can wait for four minutes maybe even five i'd rather them wait a long time at thatcham than go all that way with no food that's a long way to go without any food so i'm gonna do it this way it's it's longer than i'd normally have them waiting however i've created a bit of an issue because then <laughs> They're now blocking the access for these boys. But hopefully when some food gets dropped off shortly, it'll all clear out. We'll, we'll see. Main thing to do... Aha, there we go. This is what we were waiting for. This. We've just leveled this up by doing that, see? So now Lee is acting as a consumer. Uh, so it will target that with its next food delivery. So it should put more food on this platform. Um, that's now going to level up, which is going to create more demand. Which means they'll want more grain. So what we need to do is bring our next grain silo on. Uh, as you can see here, I built a train station ready. Here's one that I made earlier. And we shall... No, we should connect that in. Like so. Uh, maybe we'll even upgrade this road while we're at it. Because why not? Um, we can't upgrade that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll make that high speed as well. There we go. Looking good. Right, there's a depot there. So what we'll do is we've got... We should have a line for this already. Thatcham Grain 1, that's the one. So we'll create a new one called Thatcham Grain 2. We'll make that uh, purple, doesn't matter. And we'll go from here to here. And we'll just make sure that they're dropping off at Upper Thatcham on the second platform. That is a pure drop-off. Uh, when they get to Thatcham Central, we'll have them wait for a full load for... 90 seconds should do it and we're going to stick a bunch of trucks on that we want grain trucks which have a little bit of extra capacity rather than the whole cargo so because we're only carrying grain we can afford to do this so we'll stick like half a dozen on there initially uh, i think it was a dark purple wasn't it uh, let's see faction grain two that's the one Okay, so that should start bringing in some grain. There you go. It's starting to output already. It knows that the alcohol distillery is a target. It's targeting it. That will get more grain into here. 
That will produce more alcohol, more food, etc. Um, yeah, I really did mess that up, didn't I? <laughs> right, so temporarily... <laughs> Temporarily, we're going to have to unblock this because that was a complete noob error right there. We'll, we'll just say don't wait. We need to flush that through. Um, ideally, you want two entrances now because obviously you've got two potential queues going on. So we'll just let that clear through and then we'll fix it. Uh, what you can do is you can add your second entrance like that and then it won't help us right now, but you know, it will sort the problem out ultimately. Don't know if we're going to be able to branch off there, though. We could do that, potentially. Or we can come in from over here. Well, that's crazy. I like that. That's suitably crazy. Uh, so hopefully... Yeah, we're going to have to waypoint it. So instead of coming to here, go there like that. That will ensure that the orange trucks queue in a different queue to the other ones and then we can put that back now to wait till full so they can carry on waiting yeah that was a complete noob error um, don't do that <laughs> but yeah what, what you want is two separate queues and they don't interfere with each other, particularly important when you're telling stuff to wait for full load, I'm hoping this guy is going to drop some food off at both of these platforms it depends yeah I think that was a train. Oh, no, he goes a little bit there. Just the one. Just the one food. Um, that will sort itself out. Let's not worry too much about that. Let's just see what's going on down here. That's chucking out grain nicely. And what's the train queue like? There isn't a queue. We've got passengers on board. Uh, what are they doing? They've got passengers. Okay. All right. So it's, you know, it's doing okay. Let's just check the line. Financially, the line is making a profit. It is tricky to make money out of passengers, but when you do it right, you'll make a lot of money. Um, but always build them after the growth opportunity is already there. That's my advice. Don't just build them and expect passengers to turn up. That's not how it works. Um, I'm not just going to build up here. I'm kind of thinking we might need a few more trucks on that line already. Let's add another five. Let's give it a total of 12 trucks. Because there's demand there already, blimey. Because this one's already fully tapped out, right? This one's going to pick up fairly quickly. I think this will probably level up fairly soon. Anyway, while all that's happening, what I want to do is get the fuel down to Mitchell Dean. Should start seeing some food arrive here soon. Uh, so what we want to do is have a pickup from here, the fuel, and we'll We'll basically take a train track through the hill. We'll just tunnel it through the hill, and then we'll drop it off uh, somewhere here. Now, in the in the spirit of thinking one step ahead, we already thought about having a passenger train line uh, here at some point going up to Mitchell Dean, and then it could even go beyond either up to Loughton or over to Biggleswade. I'm not sure. But the point is that if we're going to have a train station here... We probably want it to cover both passengers and cargo. Initially, we only want a cargo drop-off. But if we just came along and thought, oh, we'll just have a uh, cargo station pointing exactly towards where we want it to go, um, that's great. But then later on, you know, when you don't need the packs, you'd be thinking to yourself, oh, man, I wish I hadn't done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient it more like this i'm going to keep it slightly out of town because if you look at this town it's going to it can't grow that way so as it gets bigger it's probably going to be something more like this um so what i want to do is have this out of town we can always truck stuff in and that gives us the option to turn off north go that way and turn left for the cargo so we'll also need to have enough space for lines so we'll pull it to about there ish Initially, it won't have any packs, but that will come later. We'll have a nice big road. Uh, we'll have a bus stop here as well for when we want to do the packs thing. In fact, what we'll do is, like right now, because this is a cargo station at the moment, but what we'll do um, is we'll reconfigure this and 
just thinking... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to delete that. Oh, my bad. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put it back as a passenger one instead. And the reason for that decision is that I want to have the passenger line on the inside and the cargo on the outside over here. Because so the cargo is going to effectively just turn and go there. And the packs is going to come here. So I want to keep, as we look at it, I want to keep the packs tracks on the left and the cargo on the right. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll reconfigure this now and we will add another track like so. That gives us a potential three passengers. So we'll add another one there like that and then we'll add the cargo platform and then finally a cargo track like that. So that gives us, you know, lots of options, if you like, for the future. Um, we've got more expandability later. The other thing is we've only got a passenger terminal here, so we also need a cargo terminal. So if we go to uh, passenger buildings, cargo buildings, we want this one. Uh, we could stick the, doesn't matter, it's cosmetic really, but we can stick like some cargo -y stuff down here, you know, like that, whatever. whatever. Whatever you decide you want to do, you know, it, it, it really doesn't matter. It's pure cosmetic. Um, as long as there's at least one, it means you can take passengers and cargo. So I might make that into a... Something a bit bigger with this. Passenger buildings. Let's do... Something a bit more grandiose like that. Because why not? Tower train station. We can make it look cool. Um, yes, that's that's quite grandiose, isn't it? <laughs> Entirely unnecessary, but um, looks pretty cool. So we want a um, a large four lane with a bus lane coming past. Um, we want to make sure that our um, stuff can get past here. Now, the only problem is connecting into that now because I need to connect into both. So what I may do is just make that a bigger version just so it sticks out a bit more. Maybe one of those things. Cargo. Does that stick out about the same? Yeah, that's, about, that's a bit better. So we'll do that, and then we'll have another thing like that. And yeah, it kind of looks cool. Again, you know, entirely unnecessary. Doesn't really affect anything except the road like that. And that gives us a nice big station if we're expecting big things of Mitchell Dean. And uh, that gives it options. And then, obviously, we want to have a bu probably a bus station here for the packs. Uh, I'm just going to link that through to there. Should we make that a buildable area? Yeah, we could do. We could allow them to build on that. And then we can always upgrade that as well. Might as well get that done now. Since we're building this now, we can we can get the big roads in early, uh, and that will you know pay dividends later, effectively. And then coming out this way, we'll have a non-buildable non-town buildable section and then we'll switch to one with trees again so they can build on that if they want to and then we'll upgrade that section like that and there you go that that sort of sets them up a little bit for the future and then we'll have a uh, bus tram station we're also going to need a truck unload stop here as well because it's going to be a, a truck pickup so we might put our truck bit out here possibly and have the packs here. Uh, so if we do it perhaps like this, we could have packs coming in there ish. And then configure that. Delete the entrance. We have entrance. And then we want, probably want, you know, a little bit bigger. Don't know how many we're going to need, but we are just guessing. Do it that way. Oh, hello. Seven vehicles. Oh, that's the fast tank car, look. The fast attack, 120k tank car. Faster box cars, faster gondolas. We're not doing shipping, but that is significant. It means all of our crude and oil and fuel, instead of moving around at 80k's, we can now move around at 120, which is a big, big deal. Right, let's um, drag that into the bar. 
So that's that building, and then we want an equivalent sort of truck unload point. So we could put it here, or we could put it here. It doesn't really make too much difference where we do it. Uh, we could do it like this. Or we could do it over here. Might be might be tidier over here, actually. Let's, let's do it over here. Like that. There we go. And then we're going to get rid of this. We'll have the entrance. We'll make that cargo platform. Because this is a, <clears throat> because this is a drop-off. It's not that important to have big platforms, but you know, future proofing. Let's grab the land now before the uh, AI decides to build on it. And then the last thing we want to do is just check that everything is within catchment. So if we click on that, it gets the station and the. So everything we can see is all in catchment. It's all one unit. That's the destination sorted out. Uh, there's a lot of future proofing has gone into that, but we have the money these days, so we can afford to do things like that. Now, how do we get stuff from uh, the station pickup, which is here? We have that train track going through there. Um, we just need to flatten this land, so we'll click on the flatten tool and just uh, we'll just run through like that. Just grab ourselves a little bit of land and just smooth that out. So a couple of tracks through there. So what I might do is just we're not using this track at the moment, but I think I'm just going to leave it alone. My instinct tells me just to leave that for now and uh, build some more track. So we'll connect in like that. Okay, that's connected there. We'll put a little diamond on here. Come on, game. No, nope. okay. It's a bit of a guessing game when it curves like that, I'm trying to get it exactly right. There we go. Right, we know where we want to get to, so we'll grab hold of this track and we'll punch through. And we need to go that way. And we need to turn... Actually, what we'll do is we'll curve this track first. So let's say we're going to come into that cargo platform. Actually, we could do... Either or, it doesn't really matter, but let's just go that way for now. Keep an eye on the speed, because obviously we're going to make a turn here. Uh, we'll keep that at 90, 100. Yeah, we'll do it like 100, something like that. And then coming out of here, we want to connect into that. Now that gets us 120, which is the current, it's not a high speed track, but it doesn't need to be. Um, our tank car is going to do 120 anyway, so it's irrelevant. Uh, so there's 120 there, and that's fine. This, I don't think... Yeah, it's just an industrial road, so this is completely not needed. So we can delete that right back. We don't even care about that. If it doesn't connect towns, we don't need to worry about putting the road back. We can just get rid of it. Uh, we've got ourselves a nice tunnel straight through to there, so we'll build a second track. There, and then what we'll do is we'll just branch out like that because we're going to be just unloading cargo there effectively and that should do it so we're going to have a shuttle train between the two next thing is how do we get trains onto that line we have a depot here but it only puts trains onto that track not onto this track so you know you <laughs> One option, for example, is to just branch off like this. Um, there's no right or wrong here, but we could just branch off like that. And then pump straight into there, which would then feed trains from the depot into here. If that's what we want to do. Um, it will get us there. It'll do the job. It's not It's not pretty. Not pretty. Um, but yeah, so we'll work 
on the lines now we're going to do the we're going to take fuel from here drop it there and then truck it into mitchell dean so the next thing to work out is where in mitchell dean did we drop this stuff off um if we go to buildings and then do truck unload we can see that the fuel district at the moment is in the top part of town we can probably expect as we start to feed this we can expect it to start growing and it can only really grow in that direction so Ideally, we'd smash a road through there, but that would remove one of these demands. You know, do we do it now or later? If we drop there, it doesn't get a lot of the stuff on the west side, so we kind of have to come through to about here-ish. But I've got a feeling this bus stop, or this truck stop, will have to move at some point. But we'll go with that for now. And then we'll say... We've got trucks, we've got... Mitchell, Dean, uh, Fuel that we'll color it the kind of fuel color and we're going to go from the truck um depot not the bus depot the truck depot and we're going to drop off there like that now when it arrives at mitchell dean east it would be better if it just waited until there was stuff available because the train might take a while to to get there so we need to give it time to get there so it's going to pick up fuel and drop it off there they can be tanked tanker trucks um so we click on buy vehicle we'll just add one for now so we'll take either that one which has a capacity of 1360 or that one which has a capacity of 1460 so we'll take that one that takes fuel we'll just buy just the one just to get the line established and then we'll say mitchell dean fuel which should be that one should do it okay so that's now going to go here and just sit and wait, and there's nothing for it to do yet. Next point comes here, which is going to be um, Romsey. It's effectively Romsey to Mitchell Dean's fuel, isn't it? So new line. It's going to be a rail. So we've got Romsey, Mitchell, Dean, fuel. Romsey, Mitchell, Dean, fuel. We'll color this uh, sort of reddish color. And then we're going to go from here to... And make sure you click on the cargo icon, not the packs icon. You know, the cargo platform like that. That establishes the line. The next thing, uh, because this won't recognize it as a consumer yet, it should say Mitchell Dean, but it won't until we put a vehicle on it, which is another reason I put the truck there, just to get that line established. The next thing is, well, what kind of config of train do we actually want? It's not going to be anything too massive. Remember, Mitchell Dean, you know, and it's at the moment 55 demand. Like, it's not a huge demand. And the more tanker cars you put on the back, the more running costs you have. So what's the best uh, way to do it? Steam, electric, diesel. We still don't have diesel as an option. Electric is, you know, if you look at the running cost of electric, even the cheapest is a million. Uh, so even that's too expensive for us when we can do it for like 355,000. Do we need the tractive power? Do we need the speed? Well, our cars, we could go for the big high-speed tank cars, but it's probably pointless for this little town at the moment. Think about that later. So we're speed limited to 80, you say, on the smaller tank cars. Um, this is the one that we go for if we need quick acceleration, but it has a high running cost. This is probably the most cost-efficient you know, locomotive we can use right now. The BR-75 BAD is, is such a good workhorse. We're going to bring in not the high-speed tank cars, just the sort of normal ones for now, uh, because the running costs alone is like, you know, 180 versus 70. And I know this does 15, but it's not double. It's more than double the cost, but not double the tank. You're paying for the speed, basically. And since our train can't do the speed, it's irrelevant. So what we'll do is we'll bring in... Um, remember, this town had a, a demand of 55, if we haul that, we're doing 36. Uh, so if we go 55, that would be one full run. What's our speed? 80Ks in 68 seconds. That's not bad. But I would suggest a 90 capacity should give it time to get there and back and feed the town. So we'll go with that for now. We'll see how it gets on. We'll make it that dark red color I think we went for. There we go. Okay. Let's speed it up a little bit. So that should come out of here. This should start to... Oh, there you go. Straight away. 
put Mitchell Dean online and the first thing it does is increase the demand. Shipments equals demand and it's now leveling up. Now because it's leveling up, it will need more crude. Which means we need to keep our eye on the supply chain. We can see Romsey crude is already struggling. Uh, so one option here is to think about replacing these trains with the higher speed um, tank cars. But I'm not sure if we have the locomotive to haul it up to 120. I doubt it would get to 120, but the high capacity might help. Or we just add another train. And given the distance, the easiest thing right now is to just add another train. Because we have one up there, one down here, we can easily have another one or even two moving between the platforms. That should give it the capacity to keep growing. This will probably start to level up soon. You see it's run out of crude and this is not good. Not good. Don't let this happen. You're basically leaving money on the table. If, if it can't produce enough stuff because you've not supplied it, you are missing out on money opportunities right there. And these trains, I have no doubt, will make a profit. Okay, so that's going again. That's nice. So, what have we got here? So, we've got fuel being stacked up here already. Train's on its way back. That's doing absolutely nothing. But what we need to do is get ready for that. And I'll probably forget if I don't do it now. So, we're going to add some trucks to, to complete the delivery. They should start to get some fuel. The town should start to grow a little bit. Let's have a look at Lee while we wait. And you can see Lee's now getting the food. So the trucks have started arriving. Uh, so already this is starting to grow, which is fantastic because that means more packs um, and it means more people taking our other transport. So it's all about feeding the beast. It's all about growing the towns to get the passengers. You know, you just make more money. As you can see, 300 million we're at and we just bought a train as well. Let's nip back over here. We can see that that is not even remote remotely close to coping with what's going on i can see i'm just trying to assess how many trucks we can actually get on here possibly another four there's only so many trucks that you can put between that gap that's the problem we already got this one optimized we just need to get this one optimized look at that this thing is almost maxed out it's crazy um that is an absolute beast can't give that enough grain, can we? What I might do here is just add an extra entrance uh, just there. Just to um, help a little bit. There's no point vehicles going into the queue just to double back. They may as well just go straight in there. It's a bit quicker. It's a small optimization. Uh, we can see the food is piling up here, though down to Lee and Thatcham. I'm guessing we're going to need more trucks now on the on the Lee run because it is quite a long journey. Yeah, you can you can see the sheer volume of stuff. Chuck another six trucks on that. Yeah, look at this. The problem is it's such a long journey and um, this really should be covered by a train, but you know, it's a, as far as I can tell, it, it's we had this network already established and all we've done is add a free demand and grow a town, you know? What's not to like about that? It's more profit and this is going to get even more thirsty for stuff. Well, that's, yeah, that's great. There's a demand for food. The actual factory itself is not quite ready to level up in terms of demand, but production is good. It's hovering in the up in the uh, upgrade I can already see it's short on alcohol so I'm wondering where the next train is and it's already full up so my next question is do we need to think about getting more alcohol up there yes we do look we absolutely do so let's have a look at this train we've got two of them on there at the moment they've got the BR75 bads with 18 of the older style uh, box cars on there, I think. Yeah. So what we can do is we can say we want to replace this. And what we want to do is the BR75 bed is a good train, but the A35 
can actually accelerate quicker and go up to a slightly higher top speed. We don't really have something that can do... Well, I say we don't. We kind of do. We, we have... I was going to say we don't have something that can go 120 k's. No, we, we do have something that can go 120 k's. And that is this thing. This can go 145 top speed. 1.2 million a year running cost compared to 600,000. If you look at the finances on that thing, if we was to use a Class A4, which is really more of a passenger train, um, it does have a high running cost. But if we can put fast box cars on there, we can get the stuff move quicker and we should be able to cover those running costs. It is a bit of a gamble, but it should pay off. The alternative is to run these at 100k and have tank have box cars that can go faster but keep the lower running cost and we we'll top out at 100k instead of 120 it's a bit of a I mean two minds about which way to go on this double the running cost is a big deal um, but this does have a much higher tractive effort so it will accelerate a long load a lot quicker so I think instead of having like three or four of these we could perhaps have two of these and get, a, and get away with a long a very long train because it has the tractive effort for it. So what we'll do is we'll do that, we'll build this and then we'll add in the um, the big box cars that do 120k and if we start to add these we'll keep an eye on the, on the length 234 meters um, that's the longest that we can do because we only have a platform at 240 meters currently. We can extend the platform but that's a bit of work that will carry 169 capacity uh, because they're a cargo 13 as opposed to the last ones, which were only a cargo 8. More planes. Um, so, yeah, 240 meters. Replace that. It's going to cost a lot of money. We'll color it that kind of pinkish color that we've got. And then we'll just watch what happens because we may need to add another one. I think there might be enough demand for another one, but we'll see. What I want to see is this clearing down and this clearing down that train should get up to speed remember it can do 120 maximum that's a beautiful train though isn't it look at that it's such a gorgeous locomotive it's like aerodynamic ahead of its time it really is but you can see with a full load it's still not quite got to 120 yet but it's well over 100 now so it's doing pretty well. My only concern is the running cost and if it can still make a profit. There we go. So $3.8 million it got paid. Which I would suggest to you should make money. <laughs> so that particular gamble paid off. The question now is, is it enough capacity to keep this line? We know it can take 169 and it's not even on its way back yet. So I'm at the moment I'm I'm edging towards another train. That's what I'm thinking we need to be. We've got the grain supply, this thing is chucking out stuff. Is three too much? I don't know. How much food has it got on the way back? 91. Let's see when it arrives how much is here. If there's more than double. So it's not quite 320. I don't know. I don't think it's ready for three, but it's more than two, but less than three trains. And there's the icon saying that we've losing materials. So I'm going to take a gamble and drop another one in there. So we'll have three. That's a lot of money in rolling stock. But I think... It it's a vital supply chain, this one, because it's feeding three different cities with food. Loughton, Thatcham, and Lee. Two grains, and because it's getting paid in both directions, it's a very, very profitable line, this one. The finances are really, really good. But yeah, I think that's the right decision. Um, quickly go back and see what's going on here with our fuel situation. With our train, where's the train? There he is. Let's see if he's making money yet. Yep, so that's making a profit. Mitchell Dean is now getting supplied with fuel. Not enough fuel, but it's definitely got fuel. 
So my next question is, what's that factory doing? And that factory doesn't have a huge amount of demand yet to, to level it up, but Mitchell Dean should start to grow, and that will grow the demand here. We do have a lot of crude being left on the table. I'd say production's keeping up with shipments at the moment. Yeah, it seems... I think there's, there's more capacity here, but it requires Mitchell Dean to grow a little bit. Meanwhile, Lee is starting to do well. Let's check the bus service here. See how that's doing on. The Lee Romsey buses are actually making a profit. That's really good news. They're making a profit. Which also will interchange more people. I can see that Romsey Thatcham, though, because Romsey's nearly a thousand citizens, and Thatcham is nearly a thousand. This is now ripe for a train line. So what we could do is take our existing train line, add a couple of platforms here, and then branch down this way and make a train station there and get rid of the bus station. There's capacity here to make money. Uh, the next question is, how's this getting on? And it's making money. Not It was making killer money, but now it's not making killer money. Um, but it's still making money running people up and down here. So I'm happy with that. The main thing is it's growing the town. So everything's looking good. Um, but I think we've run out of time. Everything's gone in the right direction, guys. We're now growing, what? One, two, three, four, five, six towns we're now growing. And it's not even 1960 yet. So I think we're doing pretty well. And we're turning out a nice healthy profit. If we look at our company score, it's on 17. We need to build a headquarters. I don't know if you've ever done this, but we need to build a headquarters. I'm going to leave that to you to comment in the video uh, comment section. Tell me what you think we should build our headquarters. Options are something like on top of a peak, outside of Worthing. Another one of my favorite things to do is to build an island and chuck it in the middle of the water. Or perhaps you'd rather be in the fields somewhere, right next to a town. Like, what do you think? What do you think we should build our headquarters? Leave me a comment, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Until the next one, take care. Happy building.